Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Ruthik and I am passionate about audio processing. Today, we are deep diving into the world of MFCC. In this video, we will cover the basic of MFCC feature extraction, its application and how it's used to understand and analyze audio signals. So grab your favorite beverage, sit back and let's explore the fascinating world of MFCC together. So the topic of today's video is understanding MFCC feature extraction in audio processing. In this video, we will explore MFCC definition, its application and its impact on audio processing with the latest advancements. So without wasting any single time, let's move to the further section. So in this particular section, I am going to talk about what is MFCC and its basic features. So MFCC is nothing but a mean frequency septal coefficient. It is a popular feature extraction technique which is used in speech recognition, speaker identification and other audio related tasks. So it is designated to capture the perpetual characteristic of a human speech. It can make it particularly effective for the tasks that involve understanding and interpreting spoken languages. So it is very useful for the applications like uh, audio interpreters, then uh, voice based attendance system and all those things. So there are three basic features of MSCC. The first one is essential audio features. So MFCC transforms audio signals into a format which is optimized for machine learning algorithms. It can capture crucial audio characteristics. We can use all these characteristics by creating our machine learning algorithms. The second most important feature is human ear perceptions. So MFCCs are computed based on how human ear perceives the sound frequencies. It can enhance the effectiveness in various audio tasks. So it is work same as our human ears. We will discuss all these things in our further slides. The third feature which MFCC provides is short term power spectrum. So MFCC represents the short term power spectrum of sound. It provides us insight into audio signal which varies over the time. So this is how MFCC works. So this is all for this particular session. Let's move to the further section. So in this particular section, we're going to talk about the working principle of MFCC extraction. So the key steps in MFCC extraction process includes audio signal preparation, framing and windowing, Fourier transform, meal filter bank, logarithmic scaling, and discrete cosine transform. So MCC feature extraction process starts with audio signal preparation, which involves AD conversion and pre emphasis to enhance the sound quality. So first, once we record any audio sample, so first we have to remove the noise and silence in that particular audio sample. Then we have to normalize the audio sample so that we can get better signals while retrieving the MCC features. After preparing our audio sample, this particular audio sample will go under framing and windowing. So we have to divide our audio into overlapping frames to analyze the segments individually. So for each individual segment, we will find out the MFCC coefficients. The next step is we have to pass those different frames of audio to the Fourier transform. So Fourier transform will convert the time domain signals into the frequency domain for the particular analysis. Once we convert the time domain sequence to the frequency domain sequence, we will give those signals to mill filter bank. So this mill filter bank transform the frequency scale to the mill scale for human auditory perception. So this is the main part. 
uh, in earlier side we talk about the features of MFCC. It mimic the feature of human hair. So it happens in this particular section, which is mill filter bank. It will convert the audio into human perception form. After that, this particular audio sample will be given to the logarithmic scale. So this particular compromises of the compression of the amplitude dynamic range for better future representation. So once the logarithmic scaling is done, it will go to the discrete cosine transform. So this particular discrete cosine transform phase will produce MFCs by decolorating coefficients to reduce the redundancy. So this is how the MFCC feature extraction works. All these steps are part of MFCC feature extraction. So in further section, we will see what are all the things related to the MFCC features. So in this particular section, uh, we will gonna see importance of MFCC in audio processing. So we're gonna discuss three basic features of MFCC in audio processing. The first one is improving speech recognition. So MFCC enhances the accuracy of speech recognition by aiding machines in better understanding of a human language. So it will give the human perception for that particular noise sample so that it can improve the speaker recognition. The second point is efficient feature extraction. So MFCCs assist in feature extraction. It reduces the dimensionality while retaining the crucial information for efficient data processing. And the third thing is integration with AI. So right now we are in our 22nd century and Nowadays, we are using a lot of AI softwares. So as per the recent trends, it show a notable rise in combining MSC with AI for advanced audio analysis. It results in more resilient application. In next few sections, you will see what are the applications of MFCC in real world. So let's move to the further section. So in this particular section, we're going to talk about applications of MFCC. So let's explore the versatile uses of MFCC in different technology fields. The first one is speech recognition. So speech recognition is crucial for automatic speech recognition systems, uh, which can increase the user interactions. So this is the first application of MFCC. The second application is speaker identification. We can use MFCC uh, in speaker identification. We can use speaker identification systems for security systems for identifying individual users. Right now, we're using the fingerprint system, then face scanners. Instead of that, we can use audio identification as well. The third thing is music genre classification. It facilitates personalized music recommendations based on user preferences. You might have seen different genres like hip hop, classical, uh, all those things uses MFCC for the classification. The fourth point is health monitoring. So with the help of MFCC, we can retrieve the features from a particular audio sample. It can help us analyzing the respiratory sounds and emotional speech patterns and which will help us in the health monitoring. The fifth is fraud detection. So we can use this particular six stems to employ in industrial diagnostics for identifying the equipment issues so that it can uh, capture the sound of that particular equipment. And based on the sound, we can see whether this particular equipment is working fine or not. The sixth Application is environmental sound classification. It is important for smart home systems and enhancing surveillance capabilities. So these are all the applications of MFCCs. In the next section, we will see the recent trends in MFCC feature extraction. 
So in this particular section, we're going to talk about current trends in MMSS technology in 2024. Let's explore key influences shaping MMSS technology in this year. So in this year, we're choosing MCC with integration with AI and machine learning. This enhances robustness in applications by leveraging advanced algorithms for improved performance and efficiency. We are using AFCC for focus on fault detection. So it is effective in diagnosing mechanical systems issues promptly, leading to the enhanced maintenance practices and reduced downtime. It is also used in enhanced feature extraction techniques. MCC improves audio processing accuracy by refining the methods used to extract key features from audio signals, leading to better analysis outcomes. It is also used in real-time processing. Optimize MFCC extractions for immediate analytics, enabling quick insights and decision-making based upon the real-time data. In sustainability considerations, so MFCC focuses on efficient processing methods to reduce energy consumption, aligning with the eco-friendly practices and cost savings. So these are all the current trends in FCC technology in 2024. In this particular section, we're going to talk about future directions for MFCC research. The first one is exploring Delta Delta MFCC. So developing advanced variations to enhance robustness and feature representation in audio processing applications. So Delta Delta MFCC is a new variant in FCC where we can calculate the delta and we can then we can merge this delta with the MFCC feature extracted. And this will give you the exact MFCC features for the particular audio samples. Then we can use MFCC in cross-disciplinary applications. Utilizing MFCC in diverse fields such as healthcare and security for improved analysis and pattern recognition. So in this particular field also we can grow MCC in the future. Then its integration with emerging technologies. Incorporating MFCC into real-time voice processing and IoT devices for efficient data extraction and interpretation. In sustainability in processing methods. So we can use MFCCs prioritizing energy efficient processing techniques to support global sustainability initiatives and reduce the environmental impacts. So this is how uh, we can focus on the future directions for MFCC research. In this particular section, we're going to talk about challenges and limitations of MFCC. We will analyze strengths, weakness, opportunities and threats of MFCCs in audio processing. The first one is capture limitations in noisy environments and parameter sensitivity. So MFCCs may not be effective capturing audio in the noisy surroundings. You should be having totally noise free surrounding. The choice of parameters like filter banks and window size can significantly impact the performance. So while uh, adding those parameters, we should be careful so that it should not impact the performance. The second problem is emerging alternatives like deep neural networks. Deep neural networks are emerging as alternatives to address MSS limitations. However, their computational intensity poses a challenge because for generating a deep neural network, you will need a lot of bandwidth and a lot of power. So that is also one of the alternatives. And the third thing is enhancing MFCC performance through advancements. There are opportunities exist to enhance MFCC performance through advancements in parameter optimization and noise reduction techniques. But those techniques are very tricky and you need a lot of research while performing all those optimization. And the fourth limitation is computation from advanced audio processing techniques. So there are threats includes the competition from advanced audio processing techniques that may outperform MFCC in certain applications and impact 
is relevance because nowadays technology is growing day by day and which can affect the li limitations of MCD. So all these things we cover in this particular section. So in next particular section, we will see overall idea about MCC and the wrap up. So in this particular section, we're going to talk about the significance of MCC in audio processing. So this is really going to be our conclusion of this particular video. So the first thing is compact representation. So MLCC offer a concise and effective way to represent audio and aiding a data processing and analysis. This is one of the benefit of MLCC. The second thing is the diverse applications. So MLCC is used in applications like speech recognition, healthcare technologies, industrial diagnostics, showcasing versatility and impact. It is having a lot of a number of impact so that's the main thing. And the third thing is technological enhancement. Staying updated with MSS reacher stands, it is vital to harness their full capabilities for the future innovations. New uh, things are coming on nowadays, AI and all those things. So we have to be uh, updated with all those trends. And we always have to merge these trends with MSS to get the full benefit. So this is all about this particular video. We saw a lot of things about MFCC. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you get a good understanding of this MFCC, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and share this particular video with all your friends. So that's all from this video. Thank you for watching.